Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to learn that how can you automatically add email data to Google Sheet rows which means that whatever email you receive the body of that specific email can be used to add the new row in your Google Sheet which you want to collect data for. So for this we are going to learn how to create an automation with the help of Pabli Connect so that you can integrate these two applications in such a way that whenever a new email is received that data can be added to Google Sheet. So for the trigger we are going to use email parser as a feature by Pabli to capture emails from the email application application and then our action will be to add new row in Google Sheets. Let us learn how to do that. So let us learn that every time you get an email which actually has the information of any entry or registration. So how can you add the body of that email straight to your Google Sheet with the person's name, email or phone number and even add more details over here by adding columns. Right now we are only going to deal with name, email and phone number. Let us begin. Click on sign in to sign in in our account so that we will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli and we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on access now which will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here you will be able to see a big blue button on your right side where it is written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I am going to name it as automatically add email data to Google Sheets. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. You will be able to see trigger and action the two major modules of Pabli Connect on which the complete automation runs over here. Now before that make sure to open up the application which you are going to integrate today like I have opened my Gmail and also my Google Sheets over here. So let us begin. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this which means that trigger is going to be the first application where the event will take place and action will be the application which will perform the assigned action whenever the event takes place in the trigger application. Like here our trigger application is going to be email parser a feature by Pabli which can bring or fetch the data from the email every time an email is received to any specific email address. You can use it with any email sending email marketing application. I am going to use Gmail over here. I will be integrating this PC mail hook given to me from Pabli Connect and I will add this mail hook to my Gmail in such a way that every time a mail is received to that specific email address it will be sent to this mail hook and in turn we will be receiving it over here and our action application which is going to be Google Sheet will collect all the data that we receive in the trigger response over here in our workflow. So let us begin. This is my mail hook. I will go to my Gmail and I will go to settings. See all settings. And here you have to click on forwarding and POP IMAP. You can see there is an existing one so I am going to open this and remove this one. Okay, since I've copied the first one, the existing one, I will click on add a forwarding address and paste it over here. Click on next and proceed with the confirmation. First, it will confirm that wherever this email will be sent, it is going to be something, it is going to be the correct location or not. And here we have received a response. So what you have to do is scroll this and go to the body text. Scroll this down and this is your confirmation code. So I'm going to copy this confirmation code from here and paste it in my field over here so that I can confirm that yes, the place wherever this confirmation mail was sent is correct. Click on verify and it is done. Select this one and save changes. So the forwarding has been started. All the emails I will be receiving on this specific email address will be forwarded to this place as a response over here. Alright, so what you're going to do now, recapture email parser response and now I will send an email to this email address where I have integrated to Pabli Connect from another email. Okay, so with the details of the customer that we will be finally adding to this Google Sheet. So let us do that. Here is my another Gmail. I will give the subject as contact registrations. Okay, and here I will write the name email and the contact number or we can say phone number of that person. Okay, I will write that. So this is how I am providing it. The name of the person is demo lead. Email is this and I will give the phone number as well. Okay, now I will send this email and here the message is sent. We are still waiting for a response over here and you can see that we have sent the mail to this email address where we have integrated the mail hook. So first it will be sent to 
this email see we have received the mail over here and now it will be forwarded over here see we have received it let us scroll down and find our body text here we have and this is the one okay so now what we are going to do is extract the name email address and phone number from this response and fill it in our google sheets for that we will be needing some of the features by pably which is called text formatter but there is one more feature required which is called filter because you can see there are so many different types of mails that are received so all the mails will be sent over here to this specific place and then it will be hard for it to use the text formatter and then fill in the details over here so we will put a filter click on this plus button so that only the emails which are having contact as their subject or something contact some contact word is present in the subject of the emails will be forwarded for the text formatter and adding to our google sheet filter is a feature by pavli which allows certain type of entries only to go forward in the workflow like here we have you can type here subject and see what is your subject contact registrations and this subject which is contact registration should contain contact word over here click on save and send test request and you will see that the filter will say that the condition is a success it is true over here the condition is true because even if the subject is contact registration it contains the word contact in it so if the customer or any employee is sending you this mail with contact and the other part of the subject then then the filter will allow this email to be forwarded and added to your google sheet so now before adding to google sheet you have seen that the body of our email is having the name email and phone number together so click on this plus button because we are going to use text formatter over here so click on your new action and text formatter will be your application used the action event over here is going to be text parser text parser is used to extract values between the paragraph from the bit from the middle of a paragraph connect the application which is an easy task the text over here will be mapped so i'm going to straight away write over here name so it will take me to this place where the body text straight away will be found you don't have to scroll through all the responses of your trigger application and you are mapping it over here because every time a new mail is received then what will happen a new body text will be given to you in the trigger response so that will be mapped automatically over here you don't have to play copy paste it every time and that is how the automation will be easier now this is for the name so you want the name which comes after name colon and before email so after i will write name colon so whatever comes after this and before this will be brought out see the save and send test request button is clicked and you will see the response the name is here in front of you similarly you will be taking out the email address and phone number so i would suggest a simple step rather than creating a new action step again and again copy the step over here and paste it just after it see you can paste one more over here because you will need email and phone number also to be extracted see now we have three text formatters open this one it is selected or, or already you just have to change the after and before value now what you want is email address which comes after this and before the word phone right so i'm going to write it over here see click on save and send test request and you will have the email address similarly the last one is going to be phone number so it is again mapped over here i will just write number and colon and before will be nothing okay because nothing is after it click on save and send test request and you will see we have received the number as well so now we have all the data in the text formatter there is no need of email parser response now so now we will put all the data into google sheet the action event is going to be add new row click on connect now google sheet is a google application so you are going to go for add new connection and sign in with your google account choose your account and click on allow and here the connection is done now we have connected google sheets to pably connect so that all the data that you have over here in your pably connect workflow can be transferred to google sheets now you have to select the name of your sheet and also the sheet spreadsheet and sheet the name of your spreadsheet is new entries and there is just one sheet so what i'm going to do is open this drop down menu and choose my sheet's name now since we have only one sheet over here so it will be automatically selected and the column names will appear right in front of you which is name email and phone number similar to the ones we have in our spreadsheet so now we will do the mapping take the name from the first text formatter here okay email from the second text formatter which is here 
and then similarly we will take the phone number from the last text formatter which is this one so see what we did was that the email is received from the body text we have taken the name email and phone number using text formatter by pably and we have also put a filter on the subject that the subject of those emails which contains the word contact will only be forwarded for this this text formatter step and then we will add those data to google sheets simply click on save and send test request and see we have added it one row is updated three columns are updated close this module and this is our google sheet and we have the data over here is it all right so all of this works in an instant so let us send another mail and test this in real time so now again i have added the same email address where we have done the integration i will add the subject as new contact details so following the rule we have the word contact in our subject of our mail this is my format here i will write email address will be and this is my phone number okay send and the message is sent let us go and check our gmail first of all and here we have another mail demo lead and this is here contact details now let us go and check our google sheets and here we have the details see in no time it was transferred and all your headache of manual copy pasting is solved the name email address and phone number is right here with the help of this workflow so this was the whole video i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding pably you can email us at support@pably.com you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you